On the shores of Lake Victoria, Uganda's next generation of runners is put through its paces. Rashid Etiao is one of the hopefuls at Entebbe's Athletics Academy. The 19-year-old sprinter spends most of his time keeping fit and improving his personal best times. So I'm fighting very hard and I think I can make it in 800 meters. It will really actually give me exposure to the whole world. If I go there and run and win, then it will help me. Africa's largest lake is known worldwide. But Moses Asonya, a former Ugandan athlete, wants his country to be known for something else. Since 1956, Uganda has sent track and field athletes to compete in almost every Summer Olympic Games. We are lacking medals in this country. So my main aim is to train them and win medals for this country. Away from the sandy beach, the duo joins other athletes for the daily training session. Uganda has not had any notable successes in short distance races. That is what made Asonia set up, single handedly, the Entebbe Athletics Academy in 2013. He is also solely responsible for financing the project. Among the challenges facing the academy is the lack of training grounds. For their daily training, the team meets at a rented cricket field. Many athletes at the academy are short distance runners, mainly recruited from rural areas. We have too much potential here in Uganda. If the government could really come up, if the government could come up with the programs, support the federation, okay, go to various districts, you see, we have potential runners in this country. Rashid Etiao is among those seen as potential medalists. Third born in a family of six, he grew up in humble surroundings, hundreds of kilometers away from the capital Kampala. His family couldn't support him financially. With Asonia's intervention, he is now dedicated to achieving his goals in athletics. It's all about training. So my coach is behind me. And I know I'll make it. He always tells me that Rashid, you're good. And only keep training. And I'm training with him together, with some other guys. So I know I'll make it one day. At the recent national trials, Moses Asonia tries out parts of his team against other athletes from all over the country. Five athletes from Asonia's academy, including Rashid, have finally made it to the national team. The main priority now for Rashid and his teammates is to link up with past athletic successes. Uganda's two gold medals at the Olympics in London and Munich remain a shining example for the runners and their coach, Moses Asonia. So,